welcome to welcome back to Let's Play Penumbra Necrolog. I totally didn't reload a pass save just to see what happens if I run in there. So let's find out. Amabel, this is Julia Kwan, a member of the rescue. Huh. So it cuts the uh, it cuts the recording short. And you get to catch a glimpse of it, uh, is what happens. So, uh, I'm going to jump back to the other save real quick. Uh, the way the game saves work, it keeps, like, your ten most recent auto-saves. Uh, so I just jumped back a stage to see what happened. But, uh, yeah... Looks like we can't can't interfere either way, and he just says dot dot dot. Well, I mean that's saying nothing. He didn't literally just look at it and go dot dot dot. That would be strange. I like that that door moves. I'm gonna throw ketchup at the worm. With my luck, that would have been the one exploding bottle of ketchup, and it would have killed me. Oh, that's just. That's just really, really sad. The old pathway is no longer available. I'm gonna block it off. The next person that finds it will uncover it and think they found a way. You know, that's just cruel. Ah, I can't block it off completely anyway. Have to use some. Well, I'm all out of crowbar. You know, Philip is just as bad with crowbars as Link is with keys. Use it once and break it. Is a rock a tool? I say a rock is a tool. That's not a rock, that's a bag of trash. <laughs> Whoops. there was any uh, items to be had here. Why can't I go? Well, because that would be a really stupid move is why. Ah, fair enough. Um, I was going to say, why can't I go down the tunnel? But What is this? Um... Wow, you're strong, Philip. You broke a steel rod. I was gonna say, why can't I go down the tunnel? But clearly, you know what's in the tunnel waiting to eat me. Can I keep the metal rod for once? I had mixed feelings. On one hand, I'd lost a friend. On the other hand, an enemy. At those moments, I could use a close friend's advice. I remembered Red. Never understood how I could hear his voice and whether I could hear it whenever I wanted. What is his goal, after all? <laughs> Creepy hallway. Attention to the per personnel. We would like to remind you that every Friday night is dedicated to the roundtable meeting. The meeting of employees with status code B will be held in the main center of the station at 6.30 p.m. Let's go there. Perhaps there's gonna be a cool party there with cocktails and sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Aren't you hungry? Sandwiches. That door is clearly barricaded. I really want to move the stuff out of the way. And the other part of me says it's barricaded for a reason. I'm gonna go try the other door. Now I really want to know what's through that door. Ah. You ever heard this, the, uh, the, the saying, curiosity killed the cat? Well, they stole that from the foxes. So I'm too curious. I gotta go back. I'm gonna go unbarricade that door. And probably get my face eaten. Yeah. 
you know what? The other way is sounding a lot more hospitable. <laughs> I'm afraid there's gonna be hunters that way. It just look it reminds me a lot of the area with the dog kennel. What junk? I moved the junk. Okay. Not to say. It was apparently still within some range that it considered blocked. You know, I don't like this way either. Wait a second. Isn't this where I started this game? This door was blocked. There was the flashlights that weren't the flashlights. And... Hmm. I'm tempted to go back that way, but with my luck, that might be an... Uh alternate ending loop circle of confusion, and I haven't been this way, so I'm gonna go this way. This way does not look friendly. I don't know if the game has multiple pathways, I just know that there's different endings, but, you know, Requiem had two endings also, and it was, you know, the nice, here's two options right at the end, pick one, type ending. <laughs> These people are masters of the creepy background noise of doom. Good rule for any aspiring uh, person that wants to make horror or sus Dogs! Doges! Friendly doges, finally! Um... Ambience, background sound, subtle details, these are all very important. If I turned the background music off in this game, it would not be as spooky. But I wouldn't do that because, well, one, I'm recording it, and two, that'd be a, just a travesty because that is where half of the atmosphere comes from the background music. Never underestimate subtle details and the impact that they can have on the art as a whole. A creak, a howl, the rumbling, uh, the little things like that truly add, ah, like that noise right there, just really adds depth. The player freezes up, momentarily questions, was that background ambience or was there, is there something coming? Even if they hear it a hundred times, it will still make you jump a little bit inside, because a part of you wonders if it's something in the hall. Nothing to say about this save point. Nothing under that box. I really don't want to go down this hall. I see something red. Oh good, it's just lights. <laughs> oh crud, it's all jammed up. can't get the contacts moved in place. I'm assuming you uh, remember how the generator works. Those metal ping things have to be pulled down to make contact with the others. Huh. Clearly I ain't getting through that. Is the switch on this little boxy thing right here? Because that would make sense. But when did we start making sense? Uh, 
ein Grunder war. Nope, that's not gonna work. I really would like to turn the lights on here. Keep your eyes out for a switch. Hide the switch inside a locker. I never would think, you know, would think of that. Yes, there's no power. It's nothing to do with the fact that I can't get the power plant running. Metal object. Conduct. Make power. Zap, zap. somewhere it doesn't mean the other I think it might mean the other area uh, well we're going to the other area clearly Who's Reaper? Wait, Reapers? What's what's Reaper? Should I be worried by that? Also of note, um, something I haven't paid a huge amount of attention to with uh, my statements about uh, frame rate drop, the recording software is uh, taking a lot more of the processor than I gave it credit for um, when I'm moving it jumps up to sometimes 30%. When I'm standing still, it doesn't, but that's partly to do with the way that the video is encoded. Uh, as long as nothing on the screen is changing, it's actually a lot less information. If you want more information on that, you can do research into how DVD encoding works. And, uh, well, it's actually part of uh, certain file types as well. It was a breakthrough that allowed them to, instead of saving every single frame as a separate image, to only save the pieces of the image that are different from the previous image. This allowed them to drastically reduce the size of the file for images, because in mo more cases than not, let's say you have an image of somebody talking. Only their face is really doing a lot of changing, the background's not moving. So why save a thousand versions of that image? Sometimes if you're ever watching a video on your computer and it glitches up and only the moving part seems to be doing much, uh, it's, it's related to that. It's, it's an interesting thing to study. Don't ask, I don't have a clue why I know that. I think it was, uh, I think I saw it on TV or something once. They described the, uh, the process and the... Uh, This whole place is a death trap waiting to happen. I'm still creeped out by that museum back, well not creeped out, bugged, that museum back there that had missing exhibits that I really want to know what happens if I return the exhibits. Save. Father, I recognize him, but he's different. Not the same as he was before. What has happened to him? He's turned into a waffle iron. It won't open again. Oh, well, that's right. I had to uh, open this. And this is where Howard was. And why is there a note? Find him. O. Who is O? Who am I finding? Who's finding me? Will these questions be answered? We don't know. Find out on the next episode. No, no, no. I, I had to do it. We're at the 15 minute mark. <laughs> See you next time. Well, I should save first. Now, see you next time.